quality is also good on these things. It's not quite as good as beta or VHS hi-fi. Hi it's close. It's very, very close. But beta and VHS hi-fi have these things beat out in terms of audio quality. Although these things have got all tape formats beat out in terms of video quality. Matter of fact, the same one-inch videotapes that they use as masters to make the beta and VHS store-bought copies that you can buy or rent it at your local video store, those same tape copies make these video discs. Why is this system so good? I think it's because of the electronics in the machine and the fact that this does use a laser. And like I mentioned earlier, when you put a disc in a machine and this says side one, this is not side one. Side one is over here. Because the laser inside the machine is up over here inside the machine reading the information from the inside to the outside. When you turn the disc over, you now have side two, so forth and so on. And by the way, this player cannot play your compact disc, your audio disc, your little four inch laser type disc that you can buy. They come from Sony and a whole bunch of other companies now and the players are coming way, way down in price. These machines cannot play your compact audio disc. Your audio disc machine cannot play this type of laser video disc. Now, from what I've heard, Pioneer is working on a system, one machine, that will incorporate both laser systems. You can put a, uh, a regular laser video disc inside the machine and maybe flip a switch and then put in your compact audio disc. I'll be looking forward to seeing something like that because these both use a little bit different type of laser system. I don't know exactly what they are, but that's the way it is. Anyway, this has been a demonstration of the Laser Vision Video Disc System, which is currently being made by Sylvania, uh, Magnavox, and Pioneer. Of course, Pioneer is the biggie, and they are now licensing all the movies for this format. And one more point, for some reason, most of these discs today that you can buy or rent in your local video store are being made in Japan. Why? I have no idea, but that's again the way it is. Anyway, this has been yours truly, Ray Glasser from Cleveland, Ohio, with another edition of the Cleveland Tech Report. And again, if you have any ideas, questions, or suggestions on this show or my other shows, please feel free to get in touch with me in care of Kerry Decker's Nightlife Show. Just write me in care of Kerry Decker's, Decker's post office box number in Orlando. Okay, I'm Ray Glasser. This is the Cleveland Tech Report. We'll be seeing you again real soon. Good night now. Okay, so that was a very quick demo of this video disc machine and its special effects, also as well as how it looks on TV. A couple other pointers about these video discs. When they first came out, and they were produced by Magnavox, or MCA, back in 1979, the discs themselves came in these real nice liners, jackets, almost made of felt or some kind of heavy cotton. Plus, the jackets that they came in were very, very heavy cardboard. Now, when Pioneer took over making these discs back in about 1980 or 81 or so, they changed a lot of things. For one thing, these first discs that came out from Magnavox were recorded in what's called the CAV mode, or constant angular velocity. That meant about 28 minutes or 29 minutes per side. So one two-hour movie had to take two discs, about half an hour per side. Uh, and by the way, the special effects all work fine in these CAV type discs. When Pioneer took over from Magnavox in the early 80s, they went to the other style of disc, the CLV mode, which stands for Constant Longitudinal Velocity. And they now went at 58 or 59 minutes per side. This is called extended play. So they could now fit one movie on one disc. Ah, the American way of economizing. The video quality went down for some reason. I don't know why. I'm sure there's some very high-tech explanation for it but the video picture was not quite as good on these newer CLV discs. And if you go in a video store today to either rent or buy a disc, they're all in CLV, and mostly in CX encoded stereo as well. The packaging also changed when Pioneer took over. They went from these nice white felt jackets to a very, very thin and cheap cellophane type jacket. These heavy plastic, or rather cardboard boxes, went down to a very, very thin cardboard sleeve, and they just do not hold up as well as, of course, these old, real nice boxes uh, did. Also, these new discs in the CLV mode, you cannot use the special effects on the machine. Your still frame won't work, your slow motion won't work, nothing works. Your picture search will, your real, real fast, rapid, beta scan type picture search does work, but the, uh, the rest of all your special effects just do not. It's just a fact of life. Once in a while, they can still bring out a disc in the CAV or 30 minute per side mode. Matter of fact, when they brought out 
on pre-recorded Raiders of the Lost Ark in 1983. They released two versions, one in CLV and one in CAV. And the CAV copy, which I've seen, is far superior in video quality to the long play CLV copy. Uh, again, it's just a matter of saving money for Pioneer. So what can you do? Uh, one thing I should also mention, by the way, in these old discs, the CAV, or 30 minute per side disc, you can hold the still frame forever. Unlike tape, where you have a rotating video head against a piece of video tape, uh, it can burn through the tape after about five or 10 minutes. In this system, where you have a laser beam reading off a plastic record, there's no friction, nothing's touching anything. Therefore, there was nothing to wear out and you could feasibly hold a picture forever, or at least until you ran out of electrical power or whatever. But again, all these nice special effects are a thing of the past. On the new CLV disc, you just can't use them. As far as cost, these players are not cheap. You pay for quality. It's a, a truism, and especially true in um, uh, these video disc machines. They start at about $6.99, and that's for last year's out-of-date model. It'll still work. All these machines, whether they're old or new, can handle both the CAV and CLV type discs. Uh, the machine itself will read what kind of information is on the disc, just like a VHS or Betamax will always play a tape back at the proper speed that it was originally recorded at. Same thing in video discs. The discs themselves, they start at about $29.95 and they go up as far as buying discs. I have not found many stores, at least up here in Cleveland, that will rent video discs, unlike tape. Uh, you can rent a videotape anywhere and everywhere. Uh, it seems video discs, for some reason, are a little bit more rare. Uh, now, again, we're not talking about the same type of system that RCA had out that died in early 84. Now, that was a CED system that did use a needle. Matter of fact, many industry insiders actually called it needle vision because it did use a needle or a stylus, and it actually traveled along the discs. Uh, this is using the laser system. Now, this is not that popular. Why? Well, it's a high-tech product. Like I said, it's for people that really appreciate good, uh, high-end video and audio quality. The disc players are not cheap. They don't record, they just play back. And the discs themselves are not cheap. You can buy a tape today for $29.95, but a comparable movie on disc might cost you 10 bucks more. So there you go. And one last thing, we've been talking a lot about video quality of these things and how good it is, and it's very, very true. Now you can't appreciate how good this picture was here on my TV set, because we, what we've got here is a video camera taking a picture of my TV screen and then you're seeing it at, at home on your TV screen. If you were here and you could see this player play back this disc and this TV, you would be befuddled. The video quality is that good. It's an extremely sharp, clear picture with very, very well saturated color. Not too much, not too little. A perfect balance of color. Flesh tones are right there. Uh, once in a while, you will see a disc that has little speckles in it. If you do own these things or if you do rent discs once in a while, you know what I'm talking about. This is dust that has been pressed inside the disc during the manufacturing process. You can do nothing about it. Once it's in the disc, it's there. From what I've heard, the plants where these discs are actually manufactured have got to be completely free of dust and germs and everything else because the uh, conditions have to be very, very stringent and very, very clean where these discs are produced. And by the way, the audio quality of these things is as good as the video quality. The audio quality of these discs is bettered only by VHS Hi-Fi and Beta Hi-Fi, and of course your compact disc. The audio here has got good clean lows and extremely sharp highs. And when you play it through a good stereo system, through a good set of speakers, you can really then appreciate how good the audio is, as well as of course good video. And by the way, these machines will not play back your CD or compact audio discs, which of course are your little four inch laser disc with just songs on them. You can't put them inside this machine and expect it to play back, it just won't work. Uh, you cannot play back one of these video discs inside a compact audio disc machine as well. It just does not work. From what I've heard, Pioneer is working on a machine that will incorporate both styles of video disc, or I'm sorry, of laser disc, both these video discs as well as your little 4-inch compact audio disc. And that will be a treat to get something that handles both formats. So, that's been a quick rundown on the video disc system, the laser system. And again, if you have any kind of comments, questions, ideas, or whatever, please feel free to write me or even tape me in care of the Nightlife Show, in care of Carrie Decker's post office box number, and we'll be happy to hear from you. This has been Ray Glasser with the Cleveland Tech Report from Cleveland, Ohio. We'll be talking to you again real soon. Good night now.